Let me give y'all a little looky loo. We got some some grilling going on over here. I'm not gonna open it up again just now because I shut down the top and bottom. I got some just some little chicken breast, the boneless fillet thing, and my jig is going on. Um, you can see we're creeping back up to about 250, so I don't want to lose the heat because I choked it down and I ain't gonna get any more. So, because they're up to about 160 internal temp already. And I just flipped them on the first flippage. This over here is where we, uh, what I do here is I pull this out, put my charcoal starter down in here with my charcoals in it, get that rolling, and I turn the heat off, pull that off, and then set it on a, either on this piece here, sitting on the bricks over there, or I'll set it on the grill normally let it finish burning out before I dump it into the grill. This is my gas grill right here. Keep my gloves in here. Let's see what we got here. These are the gloves that I just used to uh, move my grill grates around with. Got some of them little cheesy cooking gloves which I don't hardly ever wear because these things are... My, I got some tiny hands. And you can see no tiny dick comments either. <laughs> but tiny hands, and I mean these things are like a little tight for me to get in and out of. And it's a good concept, but you know what? Once these things get get uh, get a little chicken grease on them or something, they're almost useless because everything is slipping and sliding, ain't doing nothing. I got some old chips in here, some old hickory chips. I just throw in every now and again, like I did on that chicken. That's a basketball. Pump up the basketballs from my son's basketball court over here. We got my little slab court over here. Just keep that up in there. My lighter, like a charcoal wig. Got a little pan in there. Some gloves, some other gloves to grab some hot items with. Some old tongs. Just for those are for charcoal. This is for cleaning the grate. It's called a Billy Bar. Look them up. Excellent tool. Cleaning the grates. That's about it. I use my gas grill for. Might use it for a little more than that once I get my sizzle cue. That uh, 007 Bond JB from Louisiana turned me on to. Love his videos, by the way. Look him up. 007 Bond JB. Peace. Holding. This is what I wasn't open earlier. We're up to about 275 now. Whoa! Whew. I fogged up my glasses. Pretty much there. We can pull them off. Let them rest. Oh, yeah. Excellente. Primo, baby. I figured maybe we'd make us a whole video. Gonna pull the shit on off of here. Let me swap hands. See that? Feels that stuff right off of there. It's always, not always, but most of the times I like to, while I'm letting the chicken or the steak or whatever rest, I like to come in here and just, while this is still good and hot, just go ahead and hit it. I'll clean it again before I use it again. But why not go ahead and clean it now and then it ain't got all that nasty ass chicken or whatever, just, or most of it I guess. Sitting on the grates, rotten. But I'll burn it off and clean it again. I don't know why I do it, but I do. And you can see with the Primo here, I got the down there underneath. I got the heat deflectors, the ceramic heat deflectors in there.
reflecting the heat. The chicken wasn't on a direct flame, and what it did was it was dripping the juices out on there, and it retained a lot more of the juices. So you can see my new gasket I got put on there, top and bottom. I think that's a thousand degree temperature gasket or something like that. Maybe it's ten thousand degrees, you know. Doesn't matter. I don't know, so I can say whatever I want to say, right? But no, seriously, I think it's like a thousand degrees. But I can say since I had this on here, it hasn't budged a, a lick. A lick. So there we are. We shut the gin air down. That's what we use that for. Still operational, but we mainly use it for storage. We'll pop this puppy down. You'll see this foil on here. This uh, cast iron piece that sets on top. It's not quite a perfect seal, cast iron and ceramic. Ceramic's not going to be perfect. Just like when you made ceramics, uh, maybe when you were a kid in school or something. It's not perfect. So a little more smoke was getting out around there, so I took some aluminum foil. Uh, you know, made some long sleeves, thick sleeves out of it, and then wrapped that around it. Set that back down on it, and it, especially with that new gasket, it cinches it right down. And that's my, uh, the Primo XL is underneath that one. That's the Junior. And then I got a Traeger over here, uh, which I just found some nice, um, a thing on the pellet head, uh, pellethead.com. It's for pellet grills, a form for pellet grills in the Traeger section. A uh, guy that did, used a, a piece of angle iron in there to uh, make a, a top shelf. So that'll be one thing that I'm doing. I got my, I got his measurements, and then I went ahead and measured my probe to where I, I need to cut my notch out for that for my shelf. But that'll be another, another thing that we'll do uh, somehow or sometime pretty soon here. So it's in Florida. It's uh, about five minutes to seven. Probably still about 90, 91 degrees out here. I got my little fan going over there, which feels real good. And I got my beer, or my pop, as uh, JB calls it. So, cheers. That's homebrew too, as y'all would know.